So here's what we start doing, which is there's this strange area of the law, which I won't get into because it's not that interesting, but in copyright law, which allows us to buy DVDs off the shelf of wherever you happen to buy them. Let's say if you buy them at Walmart, we could actually go in and buy DVDs off the shelf of Walmart and then put them in our red box. Now, it's a really, really bad idea, but again, if you're desperate, why not? So we have, and let me give you a couple of numbers, and I have to remember all these while I'm saying them, which is we've got about 1,000 employees in the field at this point. Our typical title at this time, a big title, like a Harry Potter, we're going to buy about 500,000 copies of Harry Potter for our machines, right? So maybe 15 or 20 copies per machine, something like that. So we've got, a, and movies come out on Tuesday night at midnight. So we've got, a, Monday night at midnight, Tuesday in the morning. So we've got to buy like hundreds of thousands of copies of Harry Potter to put it in the machine as soon as possible with a thousand employees. Now, which basically, if you do the math, right, so each employee has to go out and buy 500 copies from their local Walmart or Costco or Best Buy or whatever it happens to be. Um, again, not a really great way to grow a business, but we're desperate. So, but here's the problem. Walmart says to the studios, we're not going to prevent them from shopping because the studios go right to Bentonville, Arkansas, which is where Walmart's headquartered, and say, don't let Redbox buy from your stores. And they say, we can't really prevent them. But what we can do is we can put a five unit minimum, uh, maximum, meaning that <laughs> if, if you or any of us walk in off the street, you can only buy five at a time. So, so this is a guy in our, in, that works for us that we've just said, you need to buy 500. And he said, yeah, but I have to buy them five at a time. Which means that over the space of like five or six hours, he has to go in a hundred times to get those 500. And, and he said, you really want me to do that? And I said, well, it's either that or we're going out of business. He said, okay, I'll do it. So um, we end up uh, basically doing it this way for about six months. Um, every time a big title comes out from, from Universal, this wasn't that long ago, this was 2008, or Warner or, uh, or uh, Fox, this is the way we buy our titles. Now, they're not all 500,000. Some of them are 200,000 or 100,000. So it's only 25 trips into the Walmart as opposed to 100. Um, per person, by the way. Um, but we stay, yes. And you're buying all these for a retail price. We're right. buying them all for retail right. price. So before when you're buying directly from the distributor, you want to pay retail, right? No, no. Well, so we're paying more money, and it's costing us more to do all of this because it's operations, everything. And we buy this thing, it's a shrink wrapped package that you would get at a Walmart and then we have to open it up and put on a red box label and put it in, it's a lot of work. But we gotta stay afloat. And the way that I have all the employees, and we have about 1,500 employees at this point, I sort of gather them all together virtually and I say, hey, we're fighting for our survival here. So yeah, um, I need you to sort of work through the night. Say it again. Were you losing money? No, we were actually making money. Really? Shocking, right? Which so, is, it shows you how good of a business Redbox is, which is that we could do wacky stuff like this and still make money. Um, but good question. Um, so here's the thing that changes everything. We, the judge comes back. The first time the judge hears our case, um, he comes back and he says, you actually have a pretty good case on this antitrust thing. And then all of a sudden, that guy who told me to get out of his office in Hollywood said, all right, maybe you want to talk. Um, so we survived long enough with this cockamamie weird scheme of buying DVDs at, Red, at, at Walmart um, to, in order to stay afloat, and then we, we sort of won a little bit on our lawsuit. Not enough to win the whole lawsuit, but just enough so that the folks in Hollywood will talk to us. And we stay afloat. With your 